Good morning, or yeah, quarter, sort of morning. Ooh, it does feel good out here. Yeah. We are off to run some errands. It is June 25th, the day after my cousin's birthday and the day before my daddy's birthday. <laughs> gonna get, I don't know, daddy never really wants anything, so I'll have to ask him what if he wants anything or what he wants to do, because I'll get off at work at 4.30, come home, and then hang out with daddy for his birthday. But right now I'm hanging out with mother. And it's actually really nice outside today, considering. I know, I haven't cleaned it yet. Is it wet? No, just haven't scrubbed it yet. Ah. So we're heading somewhere and then we'll be home in a little bit. And uh, you should do a review. I'm trying to get this week out of the way so that I'll have a day off. Probably Monday I'll, I'll do something more interesting. Sorry the camera was up like that. <clears throat> um find something actually I'm gonna do a review today well, on something if you're gonna like be that. off Monday I can I can ask to get off early for what to do to do something yeah okay you said you're off right uh -huh. well we can do, we something. do something go somewhere and yeah review it but I, I do have something to review blah, 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 blah. something to review today for lunchtime and then I probably won't have time to do my Abada thing because then when I get home tonight, I gotta go to bed early. Sorta. Well, we're heading out again. We had to come home and get Mama's wallet because she left it there. We just went to Trader Joe's, which I had to buy Mama's stuff. Hey. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I was gonna talk. I'm gonna do this challenge. Uh, a month long challenge starting July 1st. And I'll let you know what that is. Probably when I really get back home. Okay, so here is my July challenge. I'm gonna take my purse off. Um, so it is said that sweet potatoes, because of what they have a lot of creatine or something in them, that could actually um, tint your skin when eating eating enough of it, make you have a tan naturally. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to eat one baked sweet potato every day for a month, the month of July. And I'm going to take a picture of like my arm like this. Wow, I'm really white. Um, like at a certain area at the exact same time of day. And do like one picture a day. And then I'll do a time lapse at the very end of the month to see if I've actually got a tan from eating a sweet potato every day. So that's my challenge. I call this challenge baked. No. I call it the sweet potato tanning, okay. sweet potato tan challenge, I guess, 30 day challenge, sweet potato tanning 30 day challenge, something to that effect. Carrots are actually um, known to have that effect too, but I think you have to eat a lot of them. Okay, but that's it, but I gotta put all our groceries up that we got from Walmart and Trader Joe's, and then I'm gonna sit down and I'll show you what I'm gonna review. So what I got from Trader Joe's are these peppers, red, green, and yellow, and then I'm going to have this. It's riced cauliflower broccoli florets and cheese sauce. Oh my goodness, that looks amazing. It's new variety. So I'll put that, that together and it's going to be absolutely delicious. And I'm going to use my chopsticks to eat it and pretend I'm eating Chinese food. I'm starting off by putting butter in the skillet and then I'm gonna open this. Mmm! Plastic. And then pour some of these out. Make my skillet turn on. Good for now. Uh, here's what it looks like. Uh, 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 And 
a little bit of pepper. Not too much. A little goes a long way with pepper. I don't want any salt. Okay. And like that, get all hot. Ooh, it's sizzling now. Look at that. Smells good. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Ah, so good. Let it continue to sizzle. Might go ahead and turn it off. Uh, okay, now I'm going to heat up my other thing. So I mic'd this for five minutes, and then I'm supposed to pull apart, which I need my other hand. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Yes. Whoa, steam. Boy, this looks fantastic. If I do say so myself. Now I'm going to try some of the broccoli cauliflower because we know how peppers taste. Okay. Okay. Mm. It's good. It's really good. Probably use more cheese sauce, in my opinion. But, yes. Oh! Oh, mmm. Mmm. That's good. Now, I'm gonna enjoy it. It's beautiful. I love it. It's picture perfect. Okay, so do y'all want to know how good that was? I cleaned it. That was amazing. It was really good and satisfying and full of vegetables. So, I mean, uh, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those health freaks, I promise you. But at this moment in time, all meats, I'm, I'm not trying to claim it, but it's just like, until I get better, right now, red meat, like beef and pork, I think I got some kind of allergy going on with pork and beef, bloat my stomach. That. Excuse me. And turkey's been doing that lately. And uh, chicken, especially chicken. Turkey, not so bad, but it's just like I don't have a taste for turkey right now. Um, I know those hurt my stomach, so it's like I tend to go for yeah, for the veggie options and along with eggs. That's why I eat eggs a lot. <clears throat> and breads when I can because I eat gluten-free stuff. But that was really good for all vegetables. Vegetables. Um, and the reason why, I think, that I have some kind of weird allergy for meats, like hooved creatures especially. Well, for one thing, I I honestly don't want to eat animals because they're so cute. I see a cow walking around, I was like, I can't eat it, it's so cute. And a chicken and all of them, so it's okay, I'm fine with not eating meat. But when I used to eat meat, um, way back, I think it was like 2006, Five. I don't know. Mm, four. Three. Mm, weird year. One of those early years in the two thousands. I got bit by a cheek right there. You can't see anything. So not gonna work there. But it swelled my face up really bad. Like I mean, my face was wet. And I had to dance on Good Morning Arkansas like that week. So I had so it had gone down, but I had kind of a puffy face. Um, which is okay. But then after the swelling had got, had gone down, I noticed some weird things like weird feelings like uh, my stomach was cramping and I lost my appetite I didn't have an appetite hardly ever and like that wasn't like me back then <clears throat> I could always finish my chili cheese fries at Black Angus and one time I got them and I didn't because my stomach was hurting and it's like I I did not have an appetite um, my joints were really achy I was tired and sleepy all the time oh and I was dizzy I would stand up and get really dizzy I never said this to anybody because that was me back then so like, anything hurt I didn't want to share it, but it, I don't know what kind of signs those are, and then someone told me that it's probably key Lyme disease, not key Lyme, Lyme disease that could cause some um, chemical imbalances in your body, which would make you allergic to certain meats, and so therefore I'm like, it kind of all adds all up, but nothing I can't get over, so I'm all good now, but that's just my little spiel about why I mainly eat vegetables and or cheesy products along with dairy products like eggs. So yeah, that was amazingly good. Now I'm gonna sit here, 
watch some of my YouTube and crochet before I had to go in at four. Okay, it's filling you in. Oh, I'm heading to work, and our mailman just came. I need to get a check. But I'm driving myself to work, and they're 4 to 10.30 tonight. Hopefully, I'll get home before 11. I'm going to say I'll get home at 10.30, because I'm going to speak positive. Because today is going to be a great day. It's a great, big, beautiful day, and I am don't want to be late. <laughs> Alright guys, well, I'll see you when I get home because I've got to go do my duties and work. Hey, I made it back home safe and it's not even 11 yet. Ooh, it's blurry. Sorry. Hey, Dutters. There's Mother and I got my groceries and I got Daddy for his birthday tomorrow. I got him this and card. Inside. Now that, that was funny. And then I think he would like this. <laughs> it looks funny. I think you'll like it. Okay, I'm gonna go change into my pajamas now. <sighs> yep. I did it again. <sighs> I'm going to bed late again on the day. I have to get up super early. Blah. Oh well, it'll be okay though. I'm used to it. I do this all the time. Oh, I can't help it. I fell asleep in the office, okay. And then when I get up, I'm starving. Well, I'm not starving, but I'm really hungry for like a snack. Midnight snack, you know? So I come in here and eat some two kinds of chips, a few strawberries, and some peanut butter. But like, okay, now I'm full and bloated, so I'm like, so then I set the dog's food up. And there's no dishes to do, thank goodness. And uh, now I'm like, Ugh. And then I'm gonna lay down and I'll be like, Ugh. Oh, uh, mm. I don't wanna skip out of my hunu, but I might just do like one or two tonight. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make myself go to bed like by 1.30 at the latest and uh, I just gotta do it. I will do it. And then tomorrow's gonna be great because it's Daddy's birthday. Yay! I can't wait to give him his gifts, even though not much. It'll be okay. Alright, well, I'll probably see you when I do Hunu. Alright, guys, so it's like pushing 140, I think. Alexa, what time is it? Alexa, what time is it? 147. Oops. So I'll do a couple of who knows and then I'm gonna go to bed. Yikes. Okay. June Foray, the voice of Rocky the Flying Squirrel, was also known as the voice of Chatty Cathy Daw. Oh. Cool. Yeah, anyway. Last one. Barbie's last name is Roberts. Barbie Roberts. I don't know why they chose Roberts. I don't wonder why they name a lot of things, what they name them. It's just like, they all seem to have like little reasons behind them. I'm just too tired to ask them. Okay. Well, good night everybody. With that said, don't forget the key.